The visual still gives me goosebumps to this day because it's pretty much a nightmare. I think I'm lighting the apartment on fire. The Hobart machine just went whoa. I cook for a living, but surprisingly, I don't have many cooking horror stories for me personally, but I do have one that involves my mom. So this was a couple of years ago. It's Christmas Eve, so my whole family is home for the holidays. So because it's Christmas Eve and we are hosting a Christmas party the next day, my mom is in the kitchen baking a cake and she put in all the ingredients and then she has this big like kitchen aid mixer, which is an awesome tool for any chef, but I guess it can be pretty dangerous when not used correctly. So there's one lever on one side to unlock the top so it flips up, and then there's one lever on the other side that turns it on to mix. She went to unlock the lever to put it up because she wanted to make sure the mixing attachment was on correctly, but instead she turned the lever to turn the mixer on while her hand was inside of the whisk. <laughs> so it basically turned on and caught her hand in the mixer and started mixing her hand, which immediately broke broke her hand, which is pretty awful. Like the visual still gives me goosebumps to this day because it's pretty much a nightmare. I guess the thought of what had happened overwhelmed her. So it made her lightheaded and pass out. But without having known that, we were just so confused at what had happened. But yeah, that is the story of our Christmas cake disaster. So I was playing uh, hooky from work. I remember I had called out because I think I was like a little hungover and I decided that today was the day I was gonna cook. I had just moved into an apartment in Manhattan with my two roommates and I was in the kitchen and I had put on the oven to preheat it and I went away to go take a shower or something. I think I was making like cheese toast, but I never really had turned on the oven in this apartment before. And I went into the shower, and when I got out of the shower, billows of smoke were everywhere. So I went to go open up the oven, and there was nothing in the oven. So then I got even more freaked out that there was all this smoke coming out, and I had no idea what it was from. Then I opened up the broiler and saw that my roommates store their oven mitts in there. And I open it up, and it's just three mitts just in flames. And then now the smoke is everywhere, the flames are everywhere. So I called my super crying and panicking, and I was like, I think I'm lighting the apartment on fire and the guy that picked up the phone was the maintenance guy and he didn't really speak English and I know Spanish but in this particular moment in time I lost all ability to know any words in Spanish and I just started screaming help and then all I could get out of me was fuego and so I started screaming help fuego for about five minutes straight and then I heard a knock on my door and the maintenance guy came in and was like looking at me like holy crap what do we do? So that was like kind of made it worse for me. I still had no relief because even though another person was joining me, they realized how terrible it was that I got myself into. So what happened was we wound up turning off the oven because I didn't turn it off in this entire time because I was freaking out so much. So we turned off the oven, he brought in like two big industrial fans to try to make the apartment not smell like burnt fabric. But I'm pretty sure the smell lingered for like the following month afterwards of like our brand new Manhattan apartment just because I decided to make cheese toast on my day off. Yeah. I used to have a cooking class in high school and I was excited to take the class because I wanted to be a chef and I wanted to learn as much as I can. And one particular day, we were making a bunch of food for a banquet and I was making focaccia bread for 300 people and I was paired with this girl named Crystal who didn't want to cook for the rest of her life. She was there because it was easy for her. We had this huge Hobart mixer to put the focaccia dough ingredients into. So inside there was flour, water, salt, some herbs, and we were about to mix the batch together in the huge Hobart mixer. And I was like, oh, Crystal, like, wait one second, I have to go grab a spatula to like clean down all the sides. And I don't know if she didn't hear me or, you know, didn't get what I was talking about, but as I was walking away, I heard the of the machine being turned on. And I was like, ugh. I was like running back, I was like, no! Because she didn't just choose like the first level or the second level where it would have probably like worked fine. She went all the way to the top and I just hear like the I think an explosion is an understatement. The Hobart machine just went whoa. 
and like all the contents inside of the Hobart mixer exploded into the air. It was on her from like head to toe. It went all over me. It went on all over the tables, on the walls. It even went on the ceiling. And everyone in the entire room stopped what they were doing and just like stared at us. Like their mouths were like, all the kids were like shocked in the class and our chef instructor was very upset. So Crystal and I had to stay after class until the entire kitchen was clean. I had to like stand on tables with a brush and like scrub the ceiling, no joke. Crystal, let's just say she's not a chef. <laughs>